Imagine being able to walk around and play Pokemon Go with the with the headset on and like Sorry. we're just like so, looking. You know what I mean? Like yeah, I know it's so funny, like, but I'm like, just I'm cruising around. Yeah, that's I'm the living best my example. daily life, but I'm just like seeing things floating yeah. around. You could just, you just be take acid. I mean, that's what it's probably gonna be like. All right, ready? This is my summer look, so get used yeah, to it. I'm well aware I've seen it for a few weeks, so I'm I think you've settled into it. I went for room, like glass sunglasses I can wear indoors so you can still see my eyes. Yeah, I can see. There's not really much. Oh, it looks real uh, stupid if you ask me. Yeah, there's not really it's any okay. like shade to those. Yeah. They're kind of like uh, blue light glasses. Yeah. Yeah. Like you're I'm old. staring at a phone for too long. Is that what they are? No. No? No. Are you sure? They no, are? I'm not sure at all. Oh, okay. What's his name, Brad? <laughs> the <laughs> lenses are yellow. So anyway, episode 58 <clears throat> and Penelope. Urban is the bottle of choice. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, be honest. I've never seen this bottle before in my life, which is, you know, not unheard which of. Which is why, unusual. I, why, I, uh, why I picked it. I've never seen it before. I've never even seen it in a store. So you got this at the, at the standard liquor store that Rice's, you go to. Rice's Town Wine and Spirits. All right. And then you were uh, perusing the aisles. Cruising, yeah. if you will, for a bottle. Their newer stuff this. is on a what would you call it, Isaiah? A um, uh, end cap on, on, on an island, island end oh. cap type okay. situation. Very nice. And uh, it's kind of like their newer, more exclusive stuff, a little more pricier stuff. So, what was the price point on Penelope this Bourbon? This was forty two. Forty two. They had a toasted that was sixty nine, and then they had another one that, that was, was seventy one. It was the barrel. Uh, yeah. So there's a few, a few, a few of these few. out there. So I was like, let okay. me see if we just like it. And this if is, we like it, then we can try the other variation. Correct. This is 30 at Bellway. Get. That's two weeks in a row we've been so robbed. 29 <laughs> at Beltway? Yes. All right. Wow. Did you see what the, uh, what the barrel strength That's calls? a great question. Right. Um, while you're doing that, named after our founder's daughter, Penelope Bourbon, is our signature four-grain straight bourbon whiskey, uniquely Wait. blended from three bourbon mash bills. Each barrel is hand-selected and blended into a single batch for your enjoyment. Remarkably smooth and flavorful, Penelope is perfect, whether sipping meat or using it in your favorite cocktail. That's the message on the back of the bottle. Uh, sweet buttercream, fresh apples. We've got nutmeg, allspice, creamy sweet dance of almonds and vanilla bean finishes with almonds, hints man. of yeah. toasted macadamia nuts and a subtle kiss of tangerine citrus. A lot of things happening. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't, in this bottle. I don't know. Is what they're saying. Let's, right. Let us be the judge, but all of those sweet flavor notes are good. You don't like the sound of it's that. making my, my spider senses tingle, man. I don't know. All right. Nice pot. We're diving right in. Um, and our first topic, did we get, first of all, before we go into the first topic, price points on the other bottles? Yeah, the um, the four grain barrel strength is 72, Yeah, so as over. is the toasted. Okay. Priced about right. Um, and actually, they've got quite a few. Rose cask finish, 90. Takachi cask finish, 100. And Architect which I don't know what that means, is they uh, built it too. Okay. Uh. <laughs> All right. So they've got a lot of things in the uh, catalog, in the portfolio, mm -hmm. that would seem a, ver a variety of price points. Um, <clears throat> kicking things off, what you, up? I'm assuming, have finished Barry. Yes. Finished it. I love that. Yesterday, I actually, because I uh, didn't get to watch. I had a very busy weekend. Mm -hmm. Um it was my birthday, so I Happy didn't birthday. really. Um, it was your birthday this weekend. Yeah, yeah his, really. His and birth, your birthday. And his yeah, birthday. His birthday is the day before mine. Yeah. Oh well, I wished him happy birthday. I didn't even <laughs> wish you happy birthday. You <laughs> didn't post about it, did you? Mm, did I? Yeah. No, after I, the day after. Yeah. All right. Well, that's I was, all. I was. I didn't do anything. Happy birthday, man. I didn't thank you. I didn't yes, do anything. Yeah, sorry about that. He was Real rude. He was golfing and was posting about yeah. it. So I was like, ah, it's his birthday. We've celebrated a lot of birthdays together. So it doesn't, that doesn't, and I'm, okay, I'm yeah. at the age where I'm kind of like. I realize you guys are so close. No, yeah, it literally is the day after. So like, if we didn't play like poker or something, it's kind of like. Yeah. Blah, blah. But um, yeah, I was so lit. I didn't like, I literally just stayed in the house and just drank all day. Okay. And I bought Jedi Survivor. Yes. I've been playing that. And then I, um. Watch Barry. You've been enjoying Jedi Survivor. Oh, very much so. I love that. He pulled up today. I was playing it. It's great. Yeah. All right. But Barry. Barry. Now, yeah. is anybody else in the room watch Barry? No. 
You don't. You don't. Okay, so it's so we'll talk about it. But ridiculously, we're getting into spoiler funny, territory. I'm but sure. dark at the same time. Correct. Super yes. dark humor. Did you did you care for the end? Or not even the end. Dude. Season four. I, uh, I watched all of it in about like a forty eight hour time period. I really saved everything up. I didn't yeah. watch anything while it was live except for oh, the last okay. episode. We queued everything and then just let and it just f- knocked it out Saturday, Sunday. Kind okay, of. that was kind of our approach. Barry is such a short show 30 minutes an episode, yeah, which is really like, like 20 eight episodes a season. Yeah. It just you can burn through it so fast. I didn't, I can't go week to week on that. Um, but season four as a whole, thoughts? Did yeah, you enjoy it. Uh, I enjoyed it. I thought, uh, each character had a redemption, yes, which I, I appreciated. Uh, at the end of it, Barry has a really good heart, but he's still a bad person. Yes, correct. And his ending, the ending of it was fitting for him. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you, I mean, spoilers, obviously. He had to go. He had to go. There's no of way course. you can kind of live. There's no way you can redeem him for all of the things that he did but he was doing it to protect the people he loved, but it was still, it's kind of like the Thanos analogy, like Thanos was right. Like, yeah, he was a homicidal maniac. It's not really, there's other ways you can do it. Um, And I I love how it still circled around the murder of Janice, how it just kind of kept coming back to bite him in the ass. That's the one thing that really kind of snowballed for him in the end. Yeah. Yeah. So I thought that was really good writing. Uh, Sally having the, um, the realization with uh, they never did he ever say his name John John was the the son right the kid's name yeah that might be right uh, I don't she, know she had the like this uh, epiphany moment where she realizes that I'm a bad mom yeah, yeah. and she kind of settles into that like archetype right? and then she's even like throughout the rest right. of the show she kind of remains that way and then boom at the, you you fast forward to the end and it looks like she's done a full one eighty. See, I think the I, – fe- I, I took away the opposite of that. Really? Okay. Yes, I took away that she was very much the same person ultimately. Really? Yeah, because there's the one scene where she's going to get into the car at the end. Yeah. And he's asking if he can stay at his friend's house. Yeah, and she was like – And um, she says, yeah, you can stay at your friend's house. And then he says, thanks, mom, I love you. And she says, was it good or like, did I do a good job? So instead of responding to him that I love you, she was again focused on whether or not her performance was good. Yes. And I, I took that as a, because we were in the, in the motion of it ending, I took that as was she asking, asking him, was I a good mother? Got you. Right, yeah. it, it, like face level, it's like, oh, was it good? She was asking about the performance, but for her, I think she was internalizing it, like, you know, was was it good? Was I good? Could be. I don't know. Could I, be. That's just kind of what I took from it, but it, I, I could be absolutely wrong. Obviously, it's a show with a lot of layers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can kind of take away a lot of different interpretations. Uh, I think that's intentional. Yeah. So, but I thought it was great. You did. Was I, really did. I thought it was a great. Great watch. I yeah. thought the first three seasons of Barry were um, were very well done. They were. Yes. Funny uh, and dark. Yeah. <laughs> and they were like very kind of just enjoyable. The fourth season was very introspective and it was very, uh, it, there were moments of humor in it. Yeah. It's not to say that there weren't, but it was very heavy throughout. And I do think very that's heavy. a- Very heavy and very consequential. Yeah. yeah. And, and from like a production standpoint and cinematography and all of those things, it really was elevated like quite a bit above the other seasons, I felt like. I, I, comparing it to last season where it was very um, fast paced, mm-hmm. like even like, and, and, and then it had a uh, kind of an adrenaline, an adrenaline paced- Yes. Uh, feel to it. This, this slows one, down. This quite was a bit. very slow. Yes. And very like there was even an eight year time jump. Like it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I'm not a big time jump guy. No. I don't oftentimes care for those. But and I again even in this show I kind of wish I had seen more of what took place in that eight years. That but too. Again, you know we're here to witness kinda, protection. We're kind of here to wrap yeah. things up. So I understand why it was a necessity. But my favorite um, part was when. Um, Noho Hank goes to shoot the rocket. 
<laughs> oh yeah, that's a classic scene. That's great. He, His just, character as a whole is very genius. He's gonna get so much work. That's an excellent, yeah. excellent character. So much work after this. Yeah, I would hope so. He's very funny. He definitely <laughs> needs to find himself another show that he can be on. Yeah, in a consistent way. Yeah, I, I loved him. Um, but yeah, season four, it felt like a big switcheroo for me a little bit in the end because I just thought like Barry wasn't Barry was always a good show. Yeah. But season four really made it like. A great show. Like an excellent, yeah. like a great, great show. It's definitely. It's so good. Yeah. yeah it's, like it's, it's like fast paced. It, I think it was more kind of like dark humor slapstick mm-hmm. early on. And then we were like, you know what? People are paying attention. So let's turn yeah. it up a notch. Let's really get like heavy into the writing. And yes. And, and they killed it, man. It's yeah. bravo. Bravo. Yes. Bill Hader. Good for you, man. Yeah. Like you did not. Real like Bill Hader has no business being that good. Nah, at what he does. SNL as an actor, alums are they killing it, bro? A writer, a director, like yeah. nobody would have. Like he's up there with some of the very best, I would think. I'm ready for him to get on some, some big big screen work now. Yeah, I um, I compared it a little bit to. It kind of feels like HBO's Breaking Bad a little bit. It feels okay, like a, it feels like it that. hits yeah, a yeah. lot of the same tropes. Yeah, Emily kind of. She pushed back on that concept a little bit, um, which is obviously fair. But when I got to the end of it, I felt very much like, you know what? It feels – when you get to the end, you feel that of yeah. the sense of a lot of people in this show have done a lot of bad things. There's obviously repercussions for those, th- for those things. So we have to like reconcile all of that yeah. at the end. That's a bummer. But it's also very like real and there's a huge human yeah. piece to it. And you can really empathize with everybody and it's – um, yeah, it's just kind of masterful from that perspective. But you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Thumbs up to Barry. I love it. Yeah. Thumbs up to Barry. Glad, I'm sad to see it end, but. Yeah, yeah bittersweet, man. But I think this is a perfect time. Five seasons. Go out on a high note. Go out on a high say. note. We're going into the writer's strikes. We're about to get another reality TV boom. So we're not going to get any really good God bless. S- scripted material for God bless. however long this lasts. And then they got to recoup and pay people. So we're probably not going to see any really, really good television for like the next two years. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah. Maybe not. We'll hope, see. hope it doesn't last as long. All right. Josh, yep. have you gotten a taste of Penelope? No, the bottle never came around. <laughs> All right. Why don't oh, we make that's this, my fault. Why, why didn't you happen? say something? We're the I only ones over here having a good yep. time. You guys were fanboying yep. over Barry. You were having a good time. Wow. Wow. I, I haven't heard you guys talk this highly of a show. That's fair. In like months. Okay, I mean, it's fair. Yeah. It's a value. He was letting us have our moment. Okay, indeed. All right, we really got out there. Well, cheers to you. <laughs> <laughs> really got called out. <laughs> Sorry for doing our job. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably just wrap the episode now. <clears throat> Had to call this one. Uh, that's it. Episode Bad guys and Barry. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> that's right, baby. <laughs> All right, so. Now we can step away from that for a moment. Everybody has Now we can get Penelope. us canceled. We can work on that. I like Penelope. Um, let's dive a little bit into the TV show from. Okay. The list of items on our news thing is kind of on the smaller side. So yeah, we're, we're going to do a little bit of watch list that we overlapped on. So from. Yeah. Now, it's a funny thing. You introduced me to this show. You brought it up last on last week's episode, I believe. Okay. Uh, this is an MGM Plus original i still don't know what that means i don't know where it's It's ridiculous it is like i found it through the apple tv like app and i searched for it and and i click on it and it plays but i don't know who's it doesn't it it doesn't push you to prime no it just opens up mgm plus okay in the apple tv app it bypasses that channel subscription nonsense that i was talking about last week yeah bro it's terrible i don't know but go ahead anyway yeah so i did a little bit of diving uh, not diving, deep diving, discovery, if you will, <laughs> on From after You're you mentioned it. I peeling sent back these, the layers. Yeah, yeah, I sent these photos to you, these press images of From. <laughs> Ridiculous. It looks like the worst show yeah. ever made from the outside. Like the press photos are- It looks very corny. Yeah. Awful. Like the promo material is so bad. Straight to DVD film. Yeah, yes. They, they could have they done a much better job with like the pro- promotion. Even the title of the show, if I'm being honest, I don't care for I think that's going to come later. Maybe. Hopefully. Still, but right of strikes. So. It's just not a great word. From. Yeah. From. Like it doesn't invoke any anything for me one way or the other. Yeah. And so again, to your point, maybe it has some big tie-in. When we get to the end of the show, we'll find out. Anyway, um, 
it's got very high ratings very good, on man. Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah. It's mid nineties, I think, from a critic score, and I want to say it's also up in the nineties from an audience score as well. Yeah. Ninety six um, and eighty eight. There you Oof. go, eighty eight for eighty eight audience. Yeah. Okay. Um, so those are pretty good marks, especially for a show <laughs> that is oh, losing enough. dogs here. All right. Um, especially for a show that is not on a major network like an HBO. Yeah. Or Showtime, like MGM. I don't. Has MGM had any other TV shows that were hits? I I don't think so. Um, I just I believe, think of James Bond when I think of uh, MGM. That's it. Do they have other originals? Godfather was Godfather Harlem in MGM. It might be. It might be. We don't know. Or was uh no? That's FX. I was thinking about the one with Chris Rock, Fargo. No, it's no. Nah, that's FX. Yeah. So how many episodes in are you on this? I'll say like five. Okay, I think we're like three or four episodes in. Yeah, yeah. We had, um, again, I told you we had we had to stop watching it at night. Yeah, because it's getting Chanel, a little spooky yeah, for yeah, you. Chanel was having nightmares, and yeah, I think it's in the horror Which, sci-fi genre. Yeah. I think it's what it's classified as. Oh, it gets um, a little. It gets a little. It gets a little dicey. Yeah, it gets a little dicey. Um, the premise the feels. Word for it. it feels very similar to uh, Silent Hill in a in a sense. It's yeah. a little bit like a rip on Silent Hill, where you find yourself in a town that you cannot escape from. Mm -hmm. And then within this town at night, monsters and evil things uh, come forth yeah. and prey upon those that are now stuck in this town. Um, again, very, very similar to kind of a silent. These thing. monsters manifest themselves as people that the people know though, right? Yes, that's what it seems that's like. That's what it seems like. Um, but it's TBD. So I've not, yeah, seen, yeah, I've yeah, not seen anybody um, on the show as a human reappear as a monster. I've not seen that yet. Um, it could happen. Hey, what are you doing? Quit that. Getting busy. Man. Getting busy, dude. I don't know what she's doing. Five. She's about Come to here. do some yoga. Um, so, but there was a moment, I know, I don't know what she's doing. She's being so weird. Um, but there was a moment where somebody referenced um, that, it, one of the characters is being the grandmother or being a grandmother, but at the same time that it wasn't their actual grandmother. It just sounds like their grandmother. Yes. Or it doesn't look like right. their grandmother. So I don't know if these are characters that have been, I mean, I don't know if they're leftovers from people that have died or not, but I'm assuming that'll get answered shortly. Yeah. It seems like you don't know, so. I don't know. Yet, I still got an episode know. or two to go on that. Um, but. I got to get dive back into it and find a good time for Chanel. We got to. Probably do a day watch. Yeah. Get like two episodes in. Yeah. It gets a little less, I feel like, intense. No? No. Uh, okay. It gets more intense. I felt like it was, I don't know. Anyway. Um, so what what part are you up to? And you're on three. Yeah. So the family has settled into the town. The daughter has gone up to the colony. The colony house. Um, yeah. yeah. We just saw the guy in the box. Yeah. Um, got rid of him. We saw that play out um and i think we're whatever is following after that there's the one girl who's got the who, who's um being communicated with it seems That's like by something by right. something yeah. on the other end on the other side yeah um so we're kind of in the mix of all that and uh yeah so it's it's a lot of fun to watch love the concept of the show i feel like it's a very good time yeah. Um, so like Walking Dead meets Lost kind of thing, Silent Hill yeah. vibes, all of that. I will say it's very there are some people on the show that are pretty terrible actors. Yeah, they're just there. And I know who you're talking about. Like, I think they're just there for aesthetic eye candy purposes yeah. and just to, you know, It's kind of draw. like, a. I feel like MGM is, I'm going to get to this in a second. Back to the back to the actors. A lot of B list actors. A lot of yeah. B list support on the show. It's kind of turning into this is getting to my 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 next point, which is that I think the show is kind of turning into something that will be a success for them. Mm -hmm. I don't know what season two holds. I'm, I'm yeah, only a few I, I haven't in got on, there on yet. season one, but obviously season two is out, so it got renewed. But I have seen a lot of people talking about it in the last week. I have seen a lot of my friends posting about it. Yeah. Uh, Lamar Jackson is watching it and posting about it. So it seems as if yeah. I don't, I've never heard of this show prior to you. And I'm wondering if something is in the water now where people this, are kind of yeah. catching on to yeah. it. I think and I, maybe MGM has a little bit of a runaway on their hands. It's yeah. possible. Could it be? 
Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Chanel, um, we were just laying in bed one night and she was like, I heard good things about that. No, no, no. Uh, we were doing something. And she was just like, I have something scary I want to watch. So it, it stems from her. Yeah. And Where I was like, hear about this you problem? don't watch anything scary. Like nothing, no, nothing dark, nothing yeah. demonic, nothing scary, no slashers. So I was like, what? I was like, all right, let me see what you're talking about. And then uh, we, you know, I forgot to bring it up and then we're laying in bed and she was like, oh, that's the thing I was talking about right there. Like I was scrolling. Yeah. And I was like, you want to do this? And she was like, yeah, let's do it. And uh, I was like, all right. And then now she's quick. because She's having nightmares. So it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty dark. It's, it's interesting that yeah. she brought it up. We're trying to get, trying to find out. Trying to track where she, is. I'll ask her. Yeah. And uh, I'll let you know, but. How uh, is this, how is this show beginning? Like, how is it, how, how's it getting into the mainstream? I think it's I just word of mouth. Because I've not seen a trailer for it. I've never seen anything. Heard people are also really big fans of the lead actor, the black yes. guy. Yes. He's, what is his name again? I can't remember, remember his name. It? I just That's remember okay him as just trying to shout him out. Mercutio him from Romeo and Juliet. Yeah. Harold Pen Perino. The black Perino. guy, right? Perino. Yeah. Perino. Yep. Oh, that's, that's a, Good for him. From the best man. From the yeah. Best man, yeah. Good for he, him. That's the only two things I remember him from. Romeo and he Juliet. He does a the great job. Man. He's very good. Yeah. Yeah. It's just some of the supporting cast just can't. I think he around. is the most known actor on the show, and he's yeah. not even incredibly known. So it looks like this is kind of maybe the MO here with MGM plus Let's go Josh. I love when Josh gets in his research so bag. Looking at <clears throat> excuse me, looking at it, they've got seven original TV shows. Um and each one of them has a pretty well-known actor as the lead and yeah. then no one. Mm. Yeah. So it seems like a concept that, that has played out for them in the past. Right. Any big hits on that list? Um, there's a show, Berlin Station, Richard Armitage is the, the lead. Station. Um, Richard Armitage. I feel um, like that name sounds familiar. Not not of the show. The show, the yeah. The to show. me, Berlin it sounds, Station sounds. Yeah, it's a rings a bell. He's a CIA agent, and the arriving this, at the the Berlin Station, the CIA station yeah, in Berlin, this Germany. This checks out a little bit for me. Um, there's a show called Pennyworth. Actually, that's one that's, of the ones that doesn't have anybody that I recognize that, in it. Pennyworth. That's is a, is a great show. Oh my! That's God. Alfred, right? Yes, yes that's correct. That's, Alfred, so. that's yeah, correct. Yeah, Pennyworth is great. Yeah, here we are. Uh, there's a show, Perpetual Grace Limited, Ben Kingsley. Is the lead? I like Ben Kingsley. Uh, Chapelweight, Adrian Brody. Okay. Uh, Billy the Kid. There was now, one are with. These, um, are these current shows or are these have they ended? They uh, a few of them have ended, but okay. actually no, I'm sorry, they're all ongoing except Berlin Station, Perpetual Grace. Got you. Yeah. Okay, so it seems like maybe they're just kind of getting off the ground here, and this yep. is an Amazon thing. Is is that correct? No, this no. Is MGM. MGM. So this is a separate, but it's not like. Amazon owns MGM. That's, they no. do not. No, MGM they don't? is just on their own. Oh, you know what? I lied. You know what? Yeah, they, they do, do because they, they do. The, MGM is the studio they that do. does Bond. Yeah, That's kind right. of what I was thinking. Amazon bought them out a year ago in March could be last year. Off. Yep. Yep. So, Sorry. Okay, so yeah, it must be streaming through the video Prime Video app then. Yep. It is. It is. That's how where I watch it on Prime. Uh, but it's not like there's an MGM Plus. App. I don't have that app. There, there is an MGM Plus. Oh app. my god! You just, probably just, subscribe just, to just it. Get rid of that app. Like, why can't we just condense? And I just don't under. I don't want to go down a rabbit hole of what we, we did went it last, to week. last we week. It's just there's so many convoluted ways to like watch things. And That's true. You can have the app or you can have the subscription through Apple TV and just be a channel. It just doesn't make sense. Yep, it's five ninety nine a month. Oh, so you can get it just there. MGM Plus. Great. Good right. to know. All right. Well, for the people out yeah. there, if you want to check it out, it's recommended. Go yep. give it a watch. Seems yeah. like you can get an app. Uh, Pretty good Amazon watch. Prime you got two shows. MGM Plus. You got two shows back to back that the bad guys have told you to go watch. That's right. Barry and From. And From. From gets so, high, high regards. Yeah. Some, some loose acting in there. But if you like the concept, you'll overlook the loose acting. That's yeah. what I will say. It's a there fun, it's a yeah. fun premise. It's a fun show to watch. The scary moments. Overcome yes, the it the, offsets a little bit of, of the terrible acting. The terrible acting. That girl and fine. the guy. The Colony House has the worst actors. Yeah, that's a that's like a a group of young young bucks really trying to make. And I just name. don't understand. What, all right, let me talk. Let's just talk about this that character dynamic real quick. If we're in the middle of this place, yep. And at night there are monsters trying to kill us. Yep. I just don't think I'd be so carefree. Like. 
in this hippie house during the day. I think if you've been there for a very long time, though, you would be potentially, because at a certain point, it just becomes normal to you. And you kind of have to settle into some normalcy, right? Like you have to do that in order to continue on. I think in the beginning, it's chaotic and it's stressful and it's, you know, yeah. your priorities are all, are, are you know, yeah. sorted in a certain way. But I think once you've done it. Yeah. I don't know. My favorite character is a, is a new character. I don't know if you've gotten to him yet. I don't know either. Uh, we'll the car crash victim. Him and his buddy. Oh yeah, I've got we've he's introduced in episode one. He is. Okay. He's yeah. gotten to the part where he finds the radio. I've gotten to the part where he finds the radio, not what he's done with it though. Okay. Okay. Just where like yeah. just where he obviously he has done the escape room he's thing. He's very he's smart into puzzles, guy. Yeah. He's an intelligent guy. He has recognized that there is something potentially with the radio and yeah. he has picked that up and has run off with it but i have not seen ultimately what has happened um i feel like i'd be him like i'm trying to figure this out like i can't just go we're just gonna we're not settling in here i I gotta get home you know yeah yeah Yeah. i it does shock me a little bit that people have not pushed on some of those things sooner but again you have to suspend some of that i think just given the type of show that it is right so if like a lot of those like sci-fi horror type shows silent hill that kind of stuff you kind of have to not dig too deep like there's a lot of plot holes all over the place mm-hmm. but the radio thing the radio's going off periodically or once in a while that like, means you got to get a signal and static yeah. and static and they're just like oh we don't we just ignore that and then he's the only one that's like that seems odd yeah that, no, somebody would have pursued that a long time we ago. can't get out of here but there's radio signal that makes no yes, sense to me the yeah. communicate the one communication method in the entire town that seems to have some life and you're not pursuing it yeah anyway, you guys are idiots case. let's talk a little bit about penelope penelope and our thoughts on Penelope. Have you gentlemen had a, had a sip yes. of Penelope? Okay, great. Yeah. I think she's a rather special gal. Yeah, I'll tell you, the, the flavor of it is not the way it's I expect described. it. Yeah. Well, no, not, not necessarily oh. described. I'm thinking like it's got a very harsh nose for me. but Very harsh nose, but the yeah. the flavor is not very harsh. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was speaking of, sorry, I was no, speaking of the right. flavor notes. Mm-hmm. Like as described, it's, it sounds like it would be very sweet. Mm-hmm. And it's not which as, it is a little sweet. It's I get a lot of like floral and sweetness, kind of like right out of the gate. It kind of hits you a little bit. I think the nose thing. I think they're connected to mm-hmm. a, to an extent. Okay. It doesn't finish bad though. Like it's not like a bad bite on it. Not a bad bite to it or like yeah. a stink on it mm-hmm. afterwards. But it it does kind of feel. I don't know. A little sweeter, a little bit more floral than a traditional like straight up bourbon. I feel like this would be maybe a little better on the rocks. I don't think so. You don't think so? No, it's uh I can taste that it's an 80 proof bourbon because mm. it's not very strong. There's no bite on the back. Yeah. Which is I mean, I guess that's fine, but eh, it's it's very average for me. Okay. It settles nice and warm. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I'm okay with it. I think I'm going to spend some time with it. I'm not mad at it. For $30 yeah. a bottle, if that's what you can find it for, I feel yeah. like that's reasonable. Yeah. For um, the price and the taste, I'm not mad at it. Yeah. it's. I don't, I'm not mad at it. That's that's true. That's yeah. fair. It's, it's pretty good. Um, we all got to take home a For 30 bucks, I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good for 30 bucks. <laughs> yeah, like everybody's got to do the Lord's work. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> all tens. Everybody's not a 10. You know no, that's, that's very true. <laughs> That's very true. We all got to take one for the team. That's right. That's why I'm off camera constantly. <laughs> this guy. It's not. It's not an issue of seating. <laughs> this guy. You come on down. Come on. Yeah. Like sit little, right in the middle. Indian style. Stool right here in the middle. <laughs> and you just stare straight down the barrel of the camera the whole time. Next week, can he just sit here and introduce himself as me? Yeah. <laughs> so hi, I'm Courtney. <laughs> all right. Let's hit our first piece of news. Yeah. Oh, we got Josh. Spider-Man. Ooh. Men or man or woman? <laughs> woman. Well, uh, actually, there is no Spider-Man. It's just Spider-Verse. I just, Spider-Verse. I made, oh, my own. Spider-Man. I, made, I made my own Spider-Man. Which is uh, fair. It's it's Spider-Man. Spider-Man. It is Spider-Man. It's Spider-Man. It's Spider-Woman. Yeah. It's Segway King over here. 
Yep. Yeah. So the reviews are out. Have you been tracking it all with the reviews? It's no. Fairly positive. No, trying to. Yeah. Fairly positive. Although I did notice on Rotten Tomatoes that there were a couple of negative reviews, um, which I found slightly I think amusing. for what you created with the very first one, and I'm about to go on a whole kind of Spider-Man. Tangent? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just because I just recently finished the game, finished both games. Yeah. Uh, we we're on the heels of No Way Home. Uh and now we're going back into the Spider-Verse. Uh, I think it's really, really tough to take to to do what they have done with all of these successful Spider-Man stories. Yeah. And take all of these villains and reimagine them and then put them into a way and tell a story that's still captivating and doesn't seem redundant. Uh, I just think Sony has just done such an awesome job as of late as of late, mm -hmm. of, of really, really creating something special around the Spider-Man trademark. I mean, that Spider-Man IP. Uh, now comes the, the task, because Sp Spider-Verse was the first of its kind. Mm -hmm. The first kind of Spider-Man movie that was animated that was such a major box office success. We never got a Spider-Man animated movie, let alone not Peter Parker, the black Spider-Man, right? Yeah, and yeah. so be such a such a cultural phenomenon for what it was. And, mm -hmm. you know, we did a whole special on it. That's true. And all the hours that were put into it. And it was a new type of animation. Yep. So I just think that they have the challenge in front of them of topping that. And I just don't know if, I don't know if they can. Yeah. I gotta see it. I'm not saying they can. I just don't know if they can. It's just such yeah, a hard task. Yeah, that is a tough thing to do. Yeah. I really enjoyed the animation style. Um, I felt like that was great. I don't think they have to like top that. I just want to see more of it. More of it. Can, can we but get bigger? I'm sure that they have tried to top it. I don't doubt that. It seems like everybody in the reviews has suggested that that's kind of the case, that it's visually pretty impressive. Um, I did think the story in the first one was like excellent i yeah. enjoyed all the other characters i thought that was a lot of fun it's very much for um, comic book fans. it was a comic great book people. a great uh story so i don't know and I mean, this one is supposed to get larger yeah. and i think that's all you can do right is just you introduce we had what seven six or seven different a roster of oh the spider verse is, is being weird right and now we're gonna get uh uh, you know, they're going to do the, what, what was it? What, what was the second Matrix? Uh, Matrix Reloaded. Uh, Reloaded? Where they go and they, you know, introduce, now there's all these different yeah. people that are, you're, this is not the only crew sure. that goes into the Matrix, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. now we're going to get a whole different, there's all of these different Spider-Men, not just yeah. the few that we well, saw. We'll see how that hits. So, yeah. It could be too much for me. Nah. It might just be distracting. We'll find out. I don't know. It's got good reviews. We'll figure it out. We'll see um, what happens. I'm scrolling through the top critic section in Rotten yeah. Tomatoes, mm -hmm. and generally they're they're pretty verbose and they're very descriptive of their opinion. And then this top critic, Layla Latif of Little White Lies, writes: "In every possible universe, this slaps." <laughs> that, well, there's your critique right there. In every possible universe, this slaps. The negative. The negative. Uh, reviews, which there are five of them on Rotten Tomatoes right now, five Rottens, uh, generally re generally kind of basically say it looks great, but it takes too long to get to the story, or it's beautiful and interesting story, but not the right medium. Like, they, they kind of just, they all comment on how good it looks. Yeah. I'm sure it yeah, looks yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Um, it, it gets drunk on itself, sometimes sad drunk, to the br to the brink of a hangover, like surly outstaying its welcome. Oh, wow. I like that one. Mm -hmm. I, that one I do recall. In visual terms, the new Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse pr uh, proves wildly inventive and stunning in a variety of ways. It just can't get out of its own way. Mm. Yeah, I heard they did some new type, type of iterations of Spider-Man that already exist. Like, this is a thing in the Spider-Man universe. Like, this Spider-Verse is always coming about and multiverse and stuff like that and then not even multiverse stuff that there's just spider-men that mm. just exist in all these different places yeah and peter is just kind of the main one we always deal with like mm -hmm. the story is always told from his uh perspective but i'm hearing like they just kind of re uh character designed a lot of these spider-men that already exist 
um, just to kind of give them more of like a modern take because we haven't seen them before. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like especially in, in the pop culture arena. Um, like there is um, a Spider-Man from Asia and I can't, I can't, I don't know if he's, I can't remember what he's called. I don't know if he's just Spider-Man Asia. Josh, help me out here. I'm working on it. Um, but they like redesigned him. So he's like, cool. He's like, he wasn't cool before. I don't Nah, He wasn't he's like, a loser. now he's like Aladdin, but like Spider-Man, <laughs> like he looks like super cool. So okay. yeah. <laughs> so like they did like a whole new, like aesthetic for a lot of these characters. Is his name Silk? Is that anything? No, about? that's, that's a, that's a, that's a, a woman. Um, but she's Chinese actually. I believe. But you're excited but yeah, for I'm, it. I mean, it's coming out yeah. soon. Is it this weekend that it comes out? It's this week. It? I'm not going to do a, 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 a release night for this. I'll probably go. Will you go to the theaters for it, though? Uh, yeah. I'll see if I can sneak away. Maybe. It's been a while for me. The last thing I saw, I think, was Super Mario Brothers. That yeah, wasn't that long ago. Hey, man. Feels like it was a long time ago. Hey, man. Did you see hey, man? No, I did not see hey, man. Hey, man. No, I mean, I saw hey, man at home. Yeah. You're thinking of Guardians. That. Guardians. I've not yeah. gone to Guardians yet. Go see Guardians. I, I should get to that. Guardians that'd be good. good. That'd be good. We should try to schedule this and go see, go to a warehouse then. Yeah. Yeah. I keep forgetting right. about the the cheap night. Yeah. That's Tuesdays, a Tuesdays, right? Seven dollars. Yeah. Tuesday night, seven dollars. Mm. It's not bad. It's a pretty good deal. Mm. All right. Next item. A virtual reality. Oh. oh yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 All right. So this is a fun, like off the path topic. It's not porn related, is it? No. It could be. It, That's mean, up to you. Everything is porn related, but in a way. <laughs> um rule 34. Monday, June 5th, right? As we are all Apple employees, ex Apple employees. X X. Oh, um see. the VR headset. Oh, cuz WWDC is, is, is on Monday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, June 5th is the keynote. Yep. Seems bum, like bum, bum. and they released today there was like an AR thing that you could download on your phone and it showed the keynote invite in like AR on your phone. Oh, so they're definitely going with it. Seems like they're moving forward with this thing. All right. Whatever it may be. So the future of VR mm -hmm. could be upon us. Now, have you used an Oculus or any of the current headsets? Has anybody <sighs> in this room done anything with the headsets? I've done some stuff. But limited. 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 Yeah. Not in a functional capacity where I'm like working. What does that mean? I've done it for like... Have you played games? Games. Yeah, yeah nothing yeah. crazy. Yeah, I mean, I've not Fruit done Ninja, it for That's a good one. Yeah, yeah. I haven't okay. done, like, this one guy at my job did, like, a virtual desktop, and he, like, works in it, like. Really? Yeah. Real yeah. nerd. Yo. He's sitting at his desk, wow. no monitors, just goggled up. I wonder up. if goggled Zuck up. knows about that, because that's what he's been pushing for yeah, for yeah, years. Yeah. Uh, I kind of feel like that's what Apple is going to push for. Yeah. And I I've think seen, it's like productivity in the headset. Yeah, I've seen like some rendered, not rendered video, but videos of like people uh, who are, this is one guy I follow, uh, Ben Jenskin, and uh, he kind of goes through like all of this, you know, he's one of the tech influencers. Okay, yeah. And uh, he got like a few different versions of different AR augmented reality headsets. And yep. He'll do like walkthrough videos and like one of them he did, it was like a virtual desktop. Yeah. And you put it on and you literally just have a keyboard and a mouse that paired yeah. to the headset. Yeah. And then you got you got your screens. So you you don't even need a computer anymore. Like it's all. Yeah, sure. It's all, yeah, it's it's all, all up there. there. And it's all up there. If Apple can make a headset that pairs to iCloud Drive and has Bluetooth to pair to your keyboard and mouse. I really love iCloud Drive. Well, if drive. it pairs to iCloud Drive, it's not going to work. Yeah, you don't I was think so? Say you love iCloud Drive. Oh, no. I just like, you know, I Mobile go from one. Maybe? I go from one. <laughs> I don't know anybody that uses iCloud oh, Drive. I love it. I love it. I go from one desktop to another and it's all there. Oh, you're using it in that way. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. Okay. I'll take your word for it. iCloud desktop. There we go. Files. Whatever. Okay. What is it? What is it called? It's called iCloud Drive in the Finder. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 That makes sense. Yeah. I work from it's adding up. that works pretty well. I work from three computers. So I gotta try But it keeps your desktop. My desktop the same. is always it the doesn't same. keep the computers the same. No, 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 no. That would be cool. If it my settings. I wish you could get more. like the bandwidth for that. I feel like that would be the problem. Like, can I go from this desktop to laptop without there being any downtime? Right. Yeah. That would be so rad. That would be rad. As soon as you move your your mouse, the tracking speed is just not the same. It's wild. 
anyway. And that's right there. So you are a headset user or mm. you did not like your experience? Are you going to buy a headset? I don't know. I don't know if I want to be that You get immersed. some of this stuff through work, though. Sometimes, yeah, I don't right? want to be that So they immersed. might throw some head. They, yeah, we they might, might get they one. They might throw a headset. Or are they going to throw you a $1,500 Apple headset? Probably. No, dude, these are going to be three grand plus, I bet. We'll probably get one. It's gonna be, it they're going to be pricey. Yeah. He's thinking mm-hmm. cheap. Yeah. Yeah. Now, are we thinking that they're like an AR thing? Like I can still see the world through them? Or is this going to be a strictly VR I think, set? I think you'll have the option to do both. So you got to like flip a button and I'm like going to be able to see Flip Josh. up the lens. <laughs> <laughs> Dwayne, Dwayne like Wayne. Top Gear bullshit or Top Gun <laughs> bullshit right yeah. there. Yeah. No, seriously, I, I think you'll be able to, you can immerse yourself in, in VR and then just flip it up and then just have glasses that do augmented reality and you can have like your displays yeah i feel like it's got to do it that way because otherwise it's an oculus now i know there's going to be a whole lot more rumored features that make it not an oculus but but what's it what's what's the problem with it being an oculus like what's the big benefit to the ar thing that i can just like walk around with it i just think that they've put their foot in ar for so long with yeah, but never in like a meaningful way. It's just right. kind of like baked in as right. like a side yeah. feature. And I, I think this like. is yeah. going to be the payoff. Imagine is, being able to walk around and play Pokemon Go <laughs> with the with the headset on and like we're just like so, looking. You know what I mean? Like yeah, I know it's so funny, like, but I'm like, just I'm cruising around. Yeah, that's I'm the living best my thing. daily life, but I'm just like seeing things floating yeah. around. You could just, you could just be, take acid. I mean, that's what it's probably going to be like. Not that I know. Imagine being able to walk around and play Pokemon Go with the with the headset on and like we're just like so, looking. You know what I mean? Like yeah, I know it's so funny, like, but I'm like, just I'm cruising around. Yeah, that's I'm the living best my thing. daily life, but I'm just like seeing things floating yeah. around. You could just, you just be take acid. I mean, that's what it's probably gonna be like. I can always see what's gone going on. Like in one screen, there's my Outlook mailbox just kind of going off. And then I can see my text messages here and I can always see what's happening at all times. And you think the interaction with it is going to be through keyboard and mouse? I I would think so. I don't, I don't know, bro. You got me on that one. You know, I'm actually pretty impressed with this. When you mentioned your colleague replace, essentially replacing his monitors with the yeah. headset, uh, I re- immediately thought nerd. And I, I think I said <laughs> well, it in well, fact. That's what we are. <laughs> but it's actually a pretty rad idea. Like I at work, I've got the computer and then the monitor off to the yeah. right, and I do wish that I had, like more that my space could be more flexible than that. Mm-hmm. You know, I think I don't know. I think we're finally gonna get into. You watch movies and like Minority Report, which is almost twenty years old, but we're finally getting to the point where the consumer technology is finally catching up to yeah. where we can actually be in a in a space where we're we're looking at augmented reality and it might even be you know in the next you know five to ten years be a in a in a place where we don't even need that like it's actually just kind of the reality that we see mm-hmm. i don't know I, I you know i think it's i think it's a fascinating take i i just kind of always think back to um uh this is a apple tangent when we were back in the store and i talked to someone from apple care and he was like, you know, Apple has created so many things. It's just not ready for the world because we can't make it consumer friendly. And by that, we mean what's we got to put something out that people can afford to fix. Right. We can't just, you know, we can make the iPhone do fucking flips if we wanted to. But it's got to be a, a product that's if they break it, they can also get it fixed. And we can also get supplies to fix it. And it, it, and it, it can stay in that. It's scalable. Right, exactly. There we go, scalable. Scalable product. So when this comes out, it will be scaled back down and tremendously just for whatever whatever it is. It's going to be so great, but it's also going to be scaled back. Just for, to prove that it's possible. Right, exactly. Yeah. And that proof will cost you $3,000. 3K, easy. So that's my, that's my concern. Is that it's like OG iPhone. But a lot of monitor, like all the Apple monitors are super expensive. Sure. Yeah. I mean, sure. they're five grand. And they're and they're aimed at a very, very particular sure. market. market. So I'm saying yeah. like, and this is probably in a, in a similar sense, like the same kind of approach, right? Yeah, certainly. I would think so. I just feel like it, 
AR, VR, whatever is is an up and coming thing, right? Facebook's been trying to do it for years. And I feel like Apple is trying to get into that market space and they're going to do it better because they generally do. But with that being said, that it's up and coming and everybody wants to use it. I hope that the rumors are true that the second generation will be much more affordable and that it's not just one of those one Apple off. Studio displays, yeah, you know, that is just aimed at yeah, the high end or production or whatever it is. That display should realistically be like 750 and not. $1,500. Well, at the same point, a monitor mount shouldn't be $1,000, but here we are. <laughs> I, and yeah, you know. <laughs> or however much it is, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, you yeah. know, that's another part of it, but you know, it's not. God, kind of I forgot right. about the monitor mount. Yeah, that's another battle that the consumer has to fight. Oh my God. You know, like, you know, I was fortunate enough to be able to get a, a studio display and it just has to sit on that leg. I got to get a riser for it. I can't like move it up and down. Like, yeah. I, you know, it's you don't kinda, have the fancy arm. Nah. Got to do that. I got this arm. That's right. Fancy arm. That's right, baby. <laughs> all right. So you're lukewarm on VR, AR. I, I all in. don't know if I want to be that immersed just yeah. yet. I'm okay. still dealing with, I'm still getting comfortable with noise cancellation. Okay. You well, know? guess what, dude? VR is going to be very different than and that. And noise canceled and you're getting your eyes are covered? What am I? Yeah, you oh know, speaking gosh. of noise cancellation, <laughs> I found my Beat Studio 3s. I lost them years ago, and I thought I left them on a plane, and then they just turned up somewhere. And I or did the flight attendant go home with you? Maybe. I mean, who knows? <laughs> anyway, so I plugged them in, charged them, updated them. Everything's good. And I put them on. I'm like, oh, I miss these things. And then I put music on, and the noise canceling made me dizzy. And like, I was like, oh, I gotta oh take God. these off yeah. because the AirPods Pro are significantly better than oh, you know yeah. five years ago noise canceling. Yeah, that I have a pair of airpod max and like sometimes like the what the noise cancel i don't know what it does but it kind of like suctions to your head and like sometimes it gives me an earache mm. like 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 the actual my actual ear hurts from the from the pressure yeah of uh so yeah i'm still kind of like learning that sure yeah all right what's next baby next on the list uh little mermaid review bombed Oh, yeah. yeah I, Did you read about this? No, I suspected bombs? it, though. IMDB had to change the way that they... Allow, reviews. like, uh, reviews or whatever? Yeah, so... I'm not surprised. Yeah, it was, you know... Apparently now, there is some sort of, like, mechanism. They've not really disclosed what it is exactly, but basically, if a movie starts getting a on. high volume of any one particular review, uh, like, yeah. rating, it'll basically filter those out when it's calculating the average mm. interesting yeah i'm not sure anyway but have you seen it have you gone to see the little Mermaid? no the babies did more my, important question my wife my wife did a girl's day she oh took, they went and saw yeah, it. yeah they went oh here we go uh tell me about it how was it uh, well clark has been on the little mermaid train yeah since the you know little mermaid is her thing since the beginning since, of the, since the beginning and uh my wife you know on my birthday said you know we'll give you a break I'll take them to go see Little Mermaid. You can kind of just hang out, do whatever, play video games. That's exactly what I did. How'd it go? The and uh, she said they said it, they did a very well, very good job. A very, a very good, good job. job. Did she like the original Mermaid movie? Uh, my wife or Clark? Your wife? Yes, she did. Yeah, yeah. She Those, think this was better than that, or I don't think so. I didn't no. ask her that. Oh, okay. Um, so she didn't come back enthused about it. She came back like it was fun. Yeah, she was like, oh, it, was, it was good. How the kids feel? Um, well, Clark is a little mermaid fan. Uh, she said, uh, my wife, Chanel said, I keep saying my wife, Chanel said, uh, Clark did very well. Like she's, she's learning the movie experience. Yeah, so she's fixated her, on yeah, it. Yeah. So this is her second movie. Yep. You know, she knows, go to the bathroom before. We're not going to keep going out. She, you know, mm -hmm. she sits and she loves it. Popcorn. Quinn's still three. She's f fucking menace. Yeah. Terrorist not in the movie. Totally just, I'm ready to go. Yeah. So she doesn't go to the next movie, whatever. She's she's not ready. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, but as far as the movie, um, they said it was good. You know, my 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 stepdaughter went. She said it was cool. My mother in law went as well. Um, everybody said it was it was good. It was good. It wasn't the Lion King. But nobody so was over the top. Nobody was over was, the top. Were pe people were over the top about Lion King. Is that what you're saying? No, people. Every 
I can get a general consensus that people didn't not, didn't think Lion King was good. Okay, okay. So yeah. they thought it was better than that. Yeah, yeah it was saying. better gotcha, than Lion gotcha, King. Gotcha. Okay, great. Uh, after sitting with Beauty and the Beast, like mm-hmm. seeing it a few times, I was like, oh, this is, isn't bad, right? I enjoyed Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I oh, this was is good. cool. Like, whatever. I, I get it. You know, this is fine. I always felt like Lion King was kind of unnecessary. I f- yes. Yeah. And I f- it's not bad, but I just, it didn't like. Well, after seeing Jungle Book, which was pretty good, Jungle Book was really good. Yeah. I would have thought that they would build on that momentum, mm. but they did something different. Are they doing a sequel to The Lion King? Probably. I think John Favreau is doing a sequel to The Lion King. Yo, they give, Disney gave him the keys to do whatever he wants. I know. I know. Josh can look this up. He can confirm. He's, I think there's more to The Lion King. After the Iron Man and you know that stuff, and then he nailing it with with the Mandalorian. I know, but like do something else, dude. He's, Pivot from Lion King. You did one. <laughs> yeah, um, just give us there's other movies, man. Josh It's hard to say. Josh in twenty in twenty twenty Screen Rant re- reports that there is a, a two in production, but that John Favreau is not involved. Now. What is John Favreau doing now? Can you um, IMDB that boy, see what he's got in post production? Yeah, I'd love to. Um Mandalorian's done. At I least forgot for what now. I was uh, just doing a second ago. I mean, I'm there's back. more Mandalorian to come, though. I would hope so. Yeah, yeah it's great. It's not like it's done, though. Um, it's just done for this, this season. This season, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Very good. Hmm. While he looks that up, I I am watching another <laughs> show. Okay. That should be. So, is Chanel is- Is it on the watch list? No, nah, I didn't. I'd, we for, can also move on from it. It's not that big of a deal. I was just curious. Um, Upcoming, I got- Jungle Book 2. Maybe is that that's what I'm thinking. Rangers of the New Republic, Skeleton Crew, that's and... Star Wars, Star Wars. Ahsoka? Ahsoka? Star Wars. That's Three Star Wars. Wars. Okay. Yeah, he must be like... Oh, exactly. well... That's a, Star spe- Wars. that's a Star Wars. Speaking of that, Ahsoka is getting uh, great reviews. Mm. Like, they're saying it's spectacular. Okay. Uh, so, that's... I mean... You're excited about that. I don't know if I'm excited, but I mean, that's just good news. You know, like we're getting another addition to Disney Plus Star Wars universe. It's great news. And, you know, and it's not getting review bombed. Like it's getting like, oh, this is Hell great. Yeah. This when does is that come out? I don't know. I mean, it should be soon if they're watching it. Like if, yeah. the, you know. If they're reviewing it, the yeah, it's going to be coming up. August? August? Ooh, yeah, yeah. It feels like a ways away. What's her name? It's, um, what's her name? What's, what's her, Ahsoka? Who was playing her? Sonal Lathan? Uh, Rosario. Rosario Dawson. Dawson. Why did I say Sonal Lathan? I don't know. That's Not drunk. Only you can tell me that. All, all black people look the same. <laughs> I'm playing. Next on this, <laughs> next on this uh, list. Just real quick, bringing it back. Um, the on. sequel was confirmed in 2020, and at D23 in September, it was given a title, Mufasa, The Lion King. Damn. Yes, I remember this now. So it's the, it's the same, it's a, uh, the story of Mufasa. Yeah, prequel. Yeah, prequel. Uh, scheduled to release July 5th next year. Don't, I hate the prequel sequel. Well, it seems like it's happening. Just yeah. do the, just that, that should have been the movie, Mufasa. And then, like, Mufasa, if you're going to. Mufasa, Mufasa. Yeah. <laughs> you're saying. Ooh. Build up. Chills. Yeah, build, build us up, up right? The Lion King. Yeah, like, this doesn't make any sense. Like, I like that right. idea. Yeah. I like that idea. Like, all Take right, we're going to go live action, but let's not do the Lion King. Just let's see how people react. That's right. Let's do the prequel to the line. That's right. Right? Just put out the beast. Yeah. The beauty's not here yet. There we go. I would love to see that we'll movie. Yeah, that part would be great. They did Mal- Maleficent, we'll right? You know it. what I'm saying? Like, let's do it that way. Yeah, uh, well, maybe they still do will. some different takes on this live action stuff. Don't give some us the same thing. Different timelines. You know? But they did do Kiss the Girl. There you go. And uh, Little Mermaid. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> I, I, it's the stupid, the stupid. My favorite part of that is when he, when I, what's I have those characters when he's going, wah, 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 wah. obviously very bad. I love it so much. <laughs> so good. Okay. Uh, next up, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles trailer. Which, yeah, have you seen it? I've not. The, I've been, tra- I've been following the new, uh, posters and everything that have been coming out. I've not so the they put out a new trailer where you can kind of see everything in like full scale. Rather yeah. than like fast and like whatever. And uh, more character interactions. I'm a big Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle person. and I think the last iterations were like very uh, PG-13, t- 
kid yeah, based yeah, yeah, yeah. for like cartoons or whatever. Sure. And this one is kind of like bridging. It's kind of edgier. bridging a little edgier. Um, you Still PG thirteen though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but and Seth Rogen. They're leaning. It, it's Seth Rogen, right? so it's gonna have. Some more kind of adult context, but still lean into the, they are teenagers mm -hmm. where like the, the live action versions, they weren't really like teenagers. Yeah. You know? yeah. They, they were kind of like 25 Adults. year old men. Yeah. You know, as man turtles, man turtles where, yeah. you know, they were like, oh, let's scale it back. And I don't know if you guys ever seen toys that made us, they talk about that. I love toys that made us. Yeah, I love, love that show. It's so disappointing that they have not brought that back. But they got to, man. It's so good. It's but so the good. Ninja Turtles episode, they say that we rebrand the turtles like every five years. Yeah. And mm -hmm. we redo it and we give something new and it's a new version, a new show. And Seth got his hands on it and this is the newest. Yeah. And they're doing the Into the Spider-Verse type of style of, of stop motion. I don't even know what kind of animation yeah, it is. It's yeah, kind of I like a- you. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's it's animation, but it looks like it's stop motion mm -hmm. or what, what have you. It just looks great. It just looks great. Um, they lean into them being teenagers, but um, uh, you know, they call Splinter like dad, and then, yeah, you know, I just I, I love new iterations that are good. You're excited for it. I think I, I am. It. I think right. I am excited. Hell yeah, man! Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. I just haven't seen the trailer yet. When is it? When's it? Is that August mm, too? July? Probably. When does that come out? Summer, summer summertime. A summertime, maybe. And we get a trailer now, probably end of summer, August. I don't know. Come on, guys. There's a lot. I'm does sorry. Does anyone have chat GPT or something pulled on? Jesus. Uh, August 2nd. There, there we go. Is. Boom. My God. Is Josh good. watching porn over here. Yeah, I'm sorry. You can't just Google TMNT and expect <laughs> anything useful to come up. He's still focused on Mufasa. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's next on this list? Uh, Deadpool 3. Making our way through. Oh, you listed some people that are returning. Nice some, little Deadpool uh, 3 news. So, little reunion. Uh, dang it. This had to have been about six months ago where Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman dropped that trailer. Yep. And we're like, yo, we're doing we're this. We're doing this, yeah. Well, there was another report that came out that uh, Holly Berry, uh, the guy that played Cyclops, and the- James Marston. There we go. And the lady that played- Jean Grey. Famke Janssen. There we go. Uh, in in the original X-Men trilogy, not yeah. the yeah, not yeah, the yeah. newer stuff, uh, are coming back to reprise their roles as Storm, Cyclops, and Jean Grey, oh. along with Hugh Jackman. So we're getting the original X-Men cast from gotcha. the early 2000s. How do you feel about that? I don't know how I feel about it. I think that- We were just talking about how we didn't like adult Teenage Mutant to Turtles. Well- I didn't like the kid version of the X Men that they did the, the rebrand. First class, first class. You didn't like first class. I liked first class. I didn't like Age of Apocalypse. No, but nobody did. No, yeah, nobody. First did. class so was I'm, I'm amazing. Fair. That's fair. Yeah, I, I love first class. I just thought it was going to be something different than what it was, uh, okay. and it wasn't. All right, so I'm fine with that. But uh, I think going back and getting and grabbing the original cast. Senior citizens and and throwing yeah they're definitely in their fifties now and throwing them into the MCU kind of it's like geriatric teams yeah we're 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 gonna finally incorporate some type of mutant I don't you know they they could be in the movie in the movie for like five minutes but you know seeing, cameo yeah, yeah utopia yeah cameo. seeing them there in the MCU in a movie that's going to over overlap with yeah. things that are existing now in a current MCU is going to be I fun. Yeah. Have you heard the premise? Uh of Deadpool 3? No. So they're saying it's going to be more of a Wolverine movie, but the premise is Owen Wilson from the TVA yeah is going to be hunting Deadpool. Got you. To arrest him because of what he did in Deadpool 2 in the post credits. Mm. That's what I'm hearing. He slides, uses cables, slider, and goes and kills all of the the uh he kills his old self, he kills the um another version of someone else, and they are gonna be looking for him as a time variant. And now that's how he gets incorporated into the, the MC. Got you. So, that's cool. I like that. I'm yeah. enjoying that. Anything else on the list? 
Oh, the uh, watch no. lists. That's okay, it. Watch great. list next. Let's run through Courtney your watch list. I didn't update. Well, I know it. we've talked about it a little bit. If you didn't update it at all, but it, uh, class of 09 okay. is the only thing I would have added. Um, it's got uh, Tyree. I don't know what that in, is. Tyree Brandon, I believe is his name. He was in, in Atlanta. Oh uh, uh, yes, Brian oh, Tyree boy. Henry. Brian Tyree Henry. Henry. Paperboy from Atlanta. Paperboy from Atlanta. Okay, uh, he was in Eternals. Um, uh, and he was the gentleman that, um, you know, he was the gentleman that was, he was the only homosexual gentleman. And I was trying to find the right verbiage. I think <laughs> you're still trying to find there it. There we what are go. You doing? Yeah. In the movie, in the Eternals. Okay. Yes. I could even just say he was the only black guy in Eternals, but that yes. too. Yeah. Um, and, uh, so in, in, um, class of 09, it's kind of like a time jump period. It starts with him as the director of the FBI. Yeah. In like 2034. And it goes back and shows like how this class of 09 has spread out all through uh, the FBI. Okay. And there's an internal investigation through the FBI. Okay. So you kind of get like some future espionage stuff with like the old school like FBI, which I think you would kind of dig. It's mm -hmm. kind of cool. Um, you know, it starts off and like they're in the future and they got like FBI, they got like all this tech and like stuff in yeah. their eyes and then, it, you know, goes through and then they start the crime and then it jumps back to them being initiated as the class of 09 in okay. the FBI, which is kind of sick. It's sick. I, I think okay. you would like it. All right. Is that the, is that the rest of it? That's it. All you got? Uh, I did update mine, Josh. Yes, you, you did. Through that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've talked about it somewhere. Uh, Barry from did that. Did that. I Think You Should Leave and The Ultimatum. <laughs> Oh, I think you should leave. Do you watch I Think You Should Leave? No, but I'm uninterested in the title. I like the title. It's a co it's a comedy show. It's on Netflix. There are 15-minute episodes. There's no storyline. It's just comedy sketches back to back. And sometimes the comedy sketch will be 30 seconds. Sometimes it'll be five minutes. They're just like different like comedy. Like, All right. Well, they're like little baby sketches just back to back to back. Tim Robinson, I think is the guy's name. Is that right? Um, some of them are misses, but some of them are absolutely hysterical. Got it. Super absurd. It'll be like a sketch of like an interaction at like a drive through at a fast food chain. And it's just like, literally it's like two and a half minutes sketch in out over. And then you're on to the next thing. There's no running theme though. Kind of just like you're a, enjoying something over there. <laughs> it's a, it popped up a few weeks ago and I had never heard of it until the Fred Willard bit where he's playing at the funeral. Yes, dude. <laughs> All right. There's some incredible moments in this show. Okay. Worth watching 100%. Um, right. Yeah, we'll- It'll be a watch it's, tonight. It's for sure worth it. I love an it's easy, super laughable easy. watch. Yeah. You can watch a whole season in like an hour. Oh, because yeah. Because they're so tonight. short. There's yeah. like episodes are literally 15 minutes a piece. I think you should leave. Um, And then Ultimatum. Anybody else watching Ultimatum? No, but I thought about it last night that I forgot. Come on. I forgot. I forgot You've not even it. queued it up. I Damn forgot rookie. about it. Yeah. Come on. My God. Yeah, right. I'm you're sorry. gonna have to watch it. We'll talk about it next All week. All right, next week it's yeah. on my watch list for All the right. week. That's it, dude. Episode fifty-eight. Fifty-eight. In Cheers. And out.